morning, Trudges, and thank you for tuning in to the Live and Five Show, where we have been living life for 10 years. This is Tetzoff, California. I'm Caleb. And I'm Cameron. 137 people were killed and 357 people were injured due to, to, due to two mo mosque attacks on the Arabian Peninsula. Yesterday was pretty hot. Will it stay that way today? Maybe we'll get some cooler weather, maybe some rain. We'll find out more about that in a second. The Celtics played against the Hornets yesterday where there was a close game. Well, uh, actually, it was a blowout. I'll tell you the scores and how it's coming up next. In the movie Max, a German Shepherd dog from military, military service in Afghanistan named Max returns home after suffering a trauma of losing his owner Kyle in a battle of war. A new aircraft carrier plan called the Progress Eagle was released earlier this month. We had those stories and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. Hurry up, dude. They're serving pizza. Hold on. I'm writing my homework. What? Writing your homework? Nobody does it anymore. Just memorize it. Save this way. Forget it. I could just check it. Just hurry up. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. go. Take out their homework. Okay. Good job. Good job. Shoot, I forgot it. Didn't you write it in your agenda? No. Alright, well, right, well, you have math detention today. It's time for the Tesla Fly by Play. In celebrating 10 years of the Great Life and Five show program, we go back to the year 2007 where Tesla held a marathon. Remember the big basketball tournament where students formed teams and spent a week and a half of lunches fighting for the title of first place honor? That's what these teams did when that led up to the final championship. The event came complete with the Tetzla band, color guard, and a whole bunch of excited fans cheering them on. In the end, the champions were the Powerpuff Balls, scoring 25-22 against the Playmakers. Way to go, team! Tetzla students also raced to the finish line at this year's track event. Like me, they represented Tetzla proudly. All right. <laughs> Last week on Thursday, Tetzloff had a Holocaust survivor who was privileged to think about her experience when she was a young girl through this horrific um, event. Her story was inspirational and sad, hitting all 8th graders in the heart. What do you think about the story from for Mrs. Kane? Um, it was cool but sad at the same time. Um, I thought it was really inspirational and her story was like very powerful and it has a meaning to a lot of people. What do you think about the story? I loved it. Like, I felt it touched me emotionally, and I feel like I should be better in school and apply these to life. I find these very important. <laughs> to learn about the Holocaust. It was interesting. Uh, it was very heartwarming, and just to know what she went through, it touched my heart. How hard was it being here to talk about the story? It is very, very difficult and very painful. It is, brings back very, very painful memories, but I feel I have to talk about it. It's very, very important that young people know those things did exist, and unfortunately they still exist in the, in the world today. How emotional is it to be, to be here? It's very emotional, but I feel I have to do it to help young people to be able to see what life is all about, how we're able to overcome many, many difficult times and many obstacles in life. And we always, always have to be positive and go forward and do the best under any circumstance that we face. What was it like to be in the Holocaust? I could say it in many words, but one word is hell. Her story of fleeing from German forces and working hard when, when arriving in the U.S. was a great way for students to honor living in America. Light the lights, turn on the camera, and find the action. It's time for the ninth annual car Red Carpet Media Festival. Students compete to have their work displayed for the community and the professional audience. Seventh and eighth, gra eighth grade Tesla students have a chance to enter a variety of media 
production for co competition for three categories, video, yearbook, and photography. Entries are judged by a KTLA reporter. All those who enter will receive a Hollywood star that will be displayed on the sidewalk at, <clears throat> at the festival in May. All winners of the red carpet competition are sent off to Hollywood. Eighth graders, the, the course registration cards for high school are due today. Aside from the Artesia cards, only Cerritos and GAR applications are to be submitted to either your history teacher or the back office. Additionally, the class of 2015 contract is due today. Journalism wants you in the yearbook. This is your chance. Grab a basketball, baseball, soccer ball, anything that you play, anything that you play with a sport, and meet up tomorrow during lunch at the lunch table. The last game for boys soccer and girls basketball is tomorrow. These teams will be competing against Ross, and to support them, attend the final game tomorrow here on campus and take your student ID with you. Ted's off will be hosting Science Olympics this year on April 25th. Students have been working hard practicing for the past few weeks during lunchtime to prepare for the big event. If you signed up for an event but have not attended practice yet, see the windows outside of Mrs. Tomas and Mrs. Kyra's room. Some teams still have room for students while other teams are full. Students, are, students not present at practice will not be on the team the day of the Olympics. Congrats to Ms. Anderson's homeroom for collecting nearly 500 box tops. For the next homeroom competition, continue collecting box tops until Thursday, April 30th. Thank you to all of the homerooms who have participated. For all students, SPEC testing will begin around the last week of April. Please remember to also use your own earbuds or headphones for testing. If not, earbuds are still supplied to students but are limited. All right, Trojans, for Tuesday's Action Reaction segment, let's see what Jaden has for us today for parkour. Hey guys, it's Jaden back here with another Hardcore Parkour Tuesdays, and today we will have some awesome bike stunt parkour stunts. And let's check it out. Richie run around, Richie found out he could steal. Richie's become a big deal, he hit the hot spot, every single club on the street. Wow, that was outstanding. Did you know that riding a bike can take more balance than all the sports ever made? Well, that's all we have for this week, and we will see you next week with another Hardcore Parkour Tuesdays. Thank you, Jaden. That's it for the Play Play at Tesla. Check out our Facebook page at Live and Five Shots to follow us on our stories. We'll be right back after the break. On March 20th, there were two mosque attacks on the Arabian Peninsula that killed 137 people and injured 357 people. A mosque is a Muslim a, a place of worship. Sunni, a terror group, and ISIS claimed responsibility for the bombing. This would be a threat to Houthis, uh, a Shi Shiite mil militia, and ISIS's enemy, Al-Qaeda, which is in um, Yemen. The Houthis leader, leader states that the first blasts were inside Al-Bar. Badar, and all Hashush ha Mosque and the other blasts were outside of the mosque. A Houthis security worker at the Al Hashush Mosque said, quote, We check people at watch and watch at times 
but it's a must, and we can check everyone who enters, end quote. CNN has discovered that the administrators of the Veterans Administration, Greater Los Angeles Healthcare System, made thousands of veterans wait for months for an appointment. The Greater Los Angeles Veteran Med Medical Center is the largest veteran health care system in America. Records show that more than 12,700 12, patients have been waiting at least 90 days late to be scheduled. Dr. Skye McDougall, the acting director of Veterans Health Administration, claims, quote, that, that the average wait time for new patients who apply for mental health, for mental health is four days, but documents show that the actual wait time to schedule an appointment is 36 days, end quote. The Greater Los Angeles healthcare officials say, quote, Greater Los Angeles and veterans nationwide continues to work very hard to get, to get veterans off the waiting list and, to, and, into clinics, and into clinics to get the care they have earned and deserve, end quote. Time now to check in with Arnell on today's entertainment report. Good morning, Arnell. Good morning, Caleb. In the movie Max, a German Shepherd dog for military service in Afghanistan named Max returns home after suffering a trauma of losing his owner, Kyle, in Battle of War. When Max was shipped back to the U.S., he begins to bond with Kyle's brother, Justin. Max is unfamiliar with Justin's family, but then forms a family relationship with them after being adopted. Watch Max in theaters on June 26th. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Arnell, and good morning, Tetsoff Trojans. That movie looked interesting. All right, in our area in Los Angeles, it's going to be 76 degrees, a little bit hot, a little bit cooler, actually. Moving more, moving more eastward, it's going to be um, in the 70s, same as Los Angeles, So, except with Chicago being in the high 50s, so it's going to be pretty cold over there. And as we move more south, it's going to be hitting a high point with 81, and in the northeast, the low point with 57. Oh, 47. All right, now it's time for rain. So we're going to be getting some rain in the, in the northwest with Montana, Idaho, and Nevada getting some. Also some from Mexico coming up to Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona, and a little bit in New York. All right, now it's time for allergies. Um, so allergies are going to be rising throughout the week with Thursday being the high point. It getting little by little from Tuesday to Wednesday, and then lowering by little by little from Friday to Saturday. All right, now it's time for earthquakes. Yesterday in the world, there was over six, 86 earthquakes. The biggest one, uh, five point, a 5.4 in, in Batara, Western Samoa. And in Southern California, there was over four earthquakes. The biggest one, a 4.0, which is a little bit big, uh, in, Bar, in Barstow, California. All right, now it's time for five-day forecast. So throughout the week, be expecting some 70s with Friday and Saturday exception with some high 80s and low 80s. Um, so be expecting some sunny and cloudy weather throughout the week. All right, make sure to send in pics at Pics at Live and Five Show and any birthday sh at Birthdays at Live and Five Show. And we'll be sure to air them on the show. All right, now it's time to toss it to the pool with Avery. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Jeremy. Today we have Alyssa with us. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Avery. Will you please do this shuffle for us? What are you doing for spring break? Here's what our viewers said. I'm going to stay in for spring break. Another viewer said that they are going to Yosemite over spring break. We want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at Live and Five Show to go. Send your comments to hashtag Live and Five Show or email us at Apple at Live and Five Show dot com. And if it's good, we'll read on the air. So, Alyssa, what are you doing for spring break? For spring break, um, I'm going to the beach with my friends and having a bonfire. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to stay home. That sounds fun. Now it's time for sports with Christian in the Live and Five locker room. So, the Celtics played against Hornets yesterday in a somewhat blowout. Campbell Walker had a great game, scoring 28 points with 12 points. Avery Radley was the player of the game with 30 points, leading the Celtics to a victory, 116-104. to In other sporting news, it was a close game between the Houston Rockets and the Washington Wizards on Sunday night. Rockets beat the Wizards 99-91. to 
This win has secured the Houston Rockets a place in the Western Conference. The star man this match was James Harden, who bagged 28, 24 points this match, as well as 6 assists. Although the Rockets have had many injuries, they have now won 4 games in a row, and 7 out of the past 8. As for the Washington Wizards, they seem to continue to struggle on offense. That wraps it up sports. Time, to, time now to check out your daily 411. Thank you, Christian. Today's 411 question is where did WrestleMania 1 take place? MSG, Silverdome, Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl, or the AT&T Stadium? Take five. The correct answer is MSG. The Madison Square Garden was also home to WrestleMania 10, 20, and 30. A new aircraft carrier plan called the Progress Eagle was, re re was released on March 6. The plane will have three decks with 800 seats and is 75% quieter. The design, the design includes six hydrogen fuel. The, de the design includes six hydrogen fuel engines and solar panels to help generate electrical power. The cockpit on the second deck has beds and office and a workroom for passengers. The plane is planned to come out around 2030. That wraps up the, that wraps up the, line, the daily line five for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow, everybody. Wear your spirit clothes, keep on our spirit day. Have a great day, children.